Hi, everyone. My name is Maria Maestrowska. I'm a digital publishing librarian at the University of Toronto Libraries, and I'm also a publication specialist at the Public Knowledge Project. And today I will be talking about open journal systems and PKP publishing services. The Public Knowledge Project was founded in 1997 by John Belinsky with the intent of improving the scholarly and public quality of research. Today, it's a research and development initiative with Simon Fraser University's core facilities program. Our staff work remotely all over the world. The goal of PKP is making knowledge public and it achieves that by creating and sharing its software openly. PKP is known for its open source software such as OJS, which is an open and to end scholarly publishing platform, OMP for managing uh, and publishing scholarly monographs, and OPS for managing preprint submissions and posting them online in a searchable archive. Additionally, PKP makes openly and freely available a public support forum, technical and user documentation, and PKP school video courses on learning OGS and on how to run a journal. PKP publishing services provide OGS hosting for those who don't have the technical knowledge or ability to host their own journals. This is a paid service and it includes installation and hosting of OGS, daily backups of your data, applying security patches, bug fixes, free upgrades, unlimited storage, and priority email-based support. All the revenue generated by our hosting service is used to fund the development of PKP software and services, which benefits the entire user community. Okay, let's talk about OJS specifically. Uh, it was first released in 2002. It's a ready-to-use complete web-based solution for managing the entire submission, editorial, peer review, and publishing workflow. Before we jump into the demonstration, just wanted to share some stats. Uh, today, OJS is the world's most widely used and to end scholarly publishing platform. Over 34,000 journals use OJS worldwide. It is a very scalable piece of software. It can be used to host a single journal, a little like a family home here, or it can host multiple journals under the same roof, like an apartment building. For example, University of Toronto has about 100 journals, one are shared and stall, and I believe Denmark's national portal has close to 200 journals. OGS is very flexible. While it is a complete wave-based solution, journals can choose to use it only for certain scenarios, for certain use cases. For example, they can use OGS for publication only while doing submission and review work outside of OGS. OGS comes with a quick submit plugin that allows you to upload ready for publication files by passing the editorial workflow. Uh, in the same vein, OGS can be used also for submission only or submission and editorial workflow with publication done on a different platform or in print. PKP continuously works on making OJS more accessible for users with disabilities and those who use assistive technologies. Starting in OJS version 3.3, the public interface of the default theme is compliant with WCAG 2.1 uh, level AA. And starting with OJS 3.4, Submission Wizard has been redesigned for better usability and accessibility. We have on our roadmap continuous improvements going forward, such as improvements planned for the editorial review workflow. You can uh, view all of those tickets in the open accessibility project on GitHub. And while the accessibility of content that is uploaded to OJS by users is outside of scope or outside of something that we could fix on our end, we do have a guide on creating accessible content that would help editors and authors uh, create their documents um, in a more accessible way from the start. OGS also has a lot of integrations. Most of them are implemented in the form of plugins and new plugins are developed and contributed by community partners all the time, which means that you can get your hands on new functionality sooner than our regular annual releases. 
Some of these integrations include DOI assignment and registration, ORCID ID authentication, OEIP image feeds, digital preservation, analytics, altmetrics, and more. You can take OJS for a test drive through the public demo that we host. You're welcome to take advantage of our free online courses and training videos and review our open user documentation.